Dr. Charles Cole III, back with some common sense because, well, common sense ain't all that common these days. We got a math crisis in this country and we've become way too cool telling kids it's perfectly fine to not be a math person. Look, compared to other countries, the US is stuck in the middle of the pack on math scores, all right? 31st place ain't that great for the country that likes to pride itself on being the best. I focus a lot on literacy and rightfully so. I'm the co-founder of the People's Literacy Fund in Oakland. It's spreading across the country, by the way. But it's time to bring that same energy to improving math instruction. And adequate math skills for our nation's students means that they miss out on advanced STEM degrees, careers. I mean, we just leaving a lot of money just on the table. And we're talking about jobs of the future, okay? These are jobs that will pay. It's also hard to be financially literate when you don't have a grasp on numbers and simple math. I ain't grow up financially literate at all. I'm learning it as an adult, like in late stages right now. Also, here goes some free game. You wanna know what part of the government always seems to run without a hitch regardless of who the president is? Uh, the IRS. Nobody wants beef with the tax man. This stuff is important. Math is very, very important. I mean, look at the world of crypto and investing. If we being real, there's a lot of people that's made a lot of money off trading cryptocurrencies and a lot more have been ending up losing. Scams are everywhere, it's here. A new coin or a hot stock gets hyped up, you know, maybe get some celebrity endorsements and tons of young adults with FOMO, they buy in just to see the creators pull all their money out when the prices rise. But at least young folks are interested. This isn't Japan's mutual funds that we are talking about. And crypto scams and volatility doesn't mean you shouldn't be invested. I want black people, my people, and anybody else listening, you're welcome to as well, uh, to have some financial agency when it comes to this type of stuff. I wanna see us making smart investments because it's one of the only ways to make up for all that generational wealth that was stolen from us. From slavery through redlining and denying small business loans to black entrepreneurs, one of the best chances of closing the widening racial wealth gap in black and brown folks is making sound investments. It's time for common sense. And common sense says offer students the financial education they deserve, but definitely aren't getting. Why you don't have to be an economist to make money investing. It is good to know what compound interest is, how to calculate it, and most importantly, how to get on the right side of it. That means putting compound interest to work for you on your investments, not against you or your credit cards. If you wanna know about how long it takes for any investment to double in money, then you gotta learn the rule of 72. Sadly, that's not really taught in the majority of our schools. Here's my common sense take. We are failing kids by telling them it's okay to not be a math person. Just like there's a science to teaching reading, there's a method to properly equipping our young people with the math skills they'll need to thrive. As a nation, we gotta take it more seriously. In my work, I'm focused on black kids and their success, period, hard stop, it's what I do. All of this is important for them and all populations who have been historically and systemically blocked from every opportunity to build generational wealth. Let's prepare our next generation with the skills they need to be entrepreneurs, engineers, scientists, or whatever else the hell they wanna be. I'm Dr. Charles Cole III, and this has been another common sense moment for you. Make sure you like the video and hit subscribe and grow with us because common sense ain't so common and our young people definitely deserve better. Y'all have a good one. Peace.